What's up guys, Tito Steve here and I'll just be sharing some of the awesome stuff that I've picked up, retro gaming related, for the past two months from June to July. So it took quite a while for me to do this and yeah, I just decided to mash up everything right now. So first and foremost, uh, I got this awesome gift from a friend, so shout outs to you Ryan, you can go check out his page as well on Facebook. Alright, so yeah. Alright. Alright, so what he gave me he gave me his old uh Mega Drive 2 set in box. I'm gonna check that out next time. Let's check that out on one of my videos later. So okay, save that unboxing of the whole thing for another day. What else did I get? So I got uh this deal and some PlayStation 1 games, although I've been saying so many times that the PlayStation 1 is giving me a headache. So here we go, we got... I actually got this primarily for these two games. Well, actually it was primarily for Pocket Fighter, but then this also was added into the mix. So that's also another great game. Psychic Force, Psychic Force 1, Pocket Fighter and the rest. Oh yeah, this one also, Densha the Go to. So one games that I planned on having, this one don't really care much about this load runner showing the screen so sunny load runner don't care much about that this one rock and popper i don't know I, I tried it i didn't like it missed in japanese and these are just empty cases so i can fix the case for my symphony of the night that's got a broken hinge and what else okay oh this one is oh i left my cutter out but this is whew, I'm just gonna brute force it with a key so I got a bunch of Saturn controllers as well okay. okay so this is the first Sega controller bundle that I got brute force uh, Yeah, okay, wow. Thank you, alright. From Retro Gaming Hub, nice to give them a feedback. So this one is a pair of, well not really a pair, but Sega controllers. So, this one, it had some uniqueness to it that's why I decided to grab this pair so first one up is this Sunsoft Saturn pad so really unique controller there's also one of these for the PlayStation and then this one is a weird looking Sega controller for the Genesis so this is my first time to see it in this form factor. And uh, here, I also got another pair of Saturn controllers. So this one is a Hori pad, Saturn Hori pad, and one of the coveted Victor pads. So this doesn't match my system because mine's is the Model 2, but I'm gonna swap around the buttons from a white controller and there we go i have a matching uh controller but it's not legit or somehow or what i don't care it's it's my it's my controller and my console so i'm gonna do that and what else do we have here okay uh, so here is one of the awesome things i also picked up a good price for this Core Graphics 2 still untested. I haven't tested this. I was saving that for another video of me testing this. And I also had to procure the respective items for testing this. So first I needed to get some cue cards. So I also got this from the same guy who sold me the PlayStation games. Thanks so much, Justin. So we got these two cue cards. Pretty good deal for this. I got these two cue cards. So this is the Kung Fu. So it's like one of the trademark games, and then I forgot the title of this one. Uh, aside from that, it also came with a multi-tap. 
So yeah, I can play multiplayer on this. But since this is a, didn't have cables, I had to buy some AV cables from online. So this one came from I think I ordered I'm not sure if I ordered from Lazada or Shopee already for that. Ordered that during the sale, so I was surprised that uh, the oops, this isn't the right one. Oh yeah, it's the right one. So the connector for this is the same as a Model 1 uh, Genesis or Mega Drive. So you got 5 pins there, 5 pins there. Let's see if it actually connects. Oh yeah, it connects. So we're going to test this out in another video on the channel. And so I didn't have any controllers. But actually I do have one of the work products for testing on that. But again, we're going to save that for another time. So I decided to look for a controller a good price controller that i could uh, use for this unit and interestingly enough i found this one decently priced okay, i'm just gonna rip, rip that yeah. oh, wow this is nicely taped so i've i got this from another cell that i've been buying some stuff over the past year so okay wow we protected it right there Okay, aside from the makeshift box, we also get a bubble wrap. Okay, put the box there. And why did I take out my cover from the car? <laughs> Alright, there we go. So here is a PC Engine controller. But the reason why I decided to get this, um, it's got this Famitsu. Uh, yeah, it's Famitsu. It's got a Famitsu skin there, so that's pretty nice. Got some yellow wing, unfortunately. Maybe I'll retro bright it in the future. Buttons feel nice and responsive. All right, so that's it for the PC Engine stuff. So. I already have PC Engine Mini, but the thing is, I need to get a multi tap so I can. No, I can play two players on that, right? But if I want to play like multiplayer, then I have to spend on the Ori multi tap for that thing, and that's kind of not in my priorities right now. And I'm also excited to try out some of the mods I saw for this. Like, there's an RGB adapter that you can really buy for here in the original PC Engine, as well as some um, flashcards. So, we'll be looking into that later in the future and what else do I want to share so yeah I also did some trade-ins with another guy like not cashing out stuff but tra clearing out some of the stuff that I don't really actually need so ah, another PlayStation I told myself that I hated PlayStations but a uh, guy wanted some uh, PlayStation games for this no lens again so you can put a lens here in the future but this is a US version so it's a 5501 or PSI in the future but as I've said that I've found a way to play PlayStation 1 games and we'll be discussing that in a while so what else is here so we got the Nintendo 64 accessories we got two controllers okay, we got a clear one and I like that control stick is mm, it's okay you can already get replacement control sticks we get an expansion pack and that's a good thing, good deal right there. I traded a Super Famicom for this so I don't mind. I got a ton of Super Famicoms for the Super Famicom set and what else? So, uh, I got, I also got these before. So this is uh, from another trading with that guy, SCPH 9001. It's nice and white unfortunately. Fortunately, I had a hard time with the lens. It wasn't reading. Then I was surprised that the 9000 series. So this is my 7000 series. So this one's sealed. I'm also I'm actually supposed to make a video about this. So this is a 7000 and this is a 7 9000. Their backs are different. Would you look at that? I did not expect that. So the later model doesn't have any vents here. And aside from that, this is my favorite PlayStation 2 model right now. Oh, rough, they fell. This is my favorite PlayStation 2 model right now, 9000 series. Uh, I also got this, so I traded those two PlayStations. I got I got, I got this silver one and the white 79000X. Uh, I traded some PS2 games for that. 
So yeah, silver, uh, silver shell, but unfortunately it wasn't powering up when I tried it. It's got a mod chip installed though. Yeah, but I'll just do a case swap and then I'll be discussing why this is now my favorite series of PlayStation, PlayStation 2s rather, and discussing how I currently plan on playing PS1 games. Anyways, that's it for the video. I'm gonna be doing another video later, not only really a part two, but more of the other retro gaming stuff that I've acquired in the past month and just didn't make any video about. So anyways, guys, that's it for now. Tito Steve now signing off. Hope you have a great day or night ahead. Bye-bye.